Hello and welcome to Thomas Spencer's accounting assessment presentation. Today I will be discussing some of the key concepts discussed from chapters 1 to 6.1 from accounting grade 10. One of the most important key concepts in accounting is the debit and credit theory. On the left of the screen we have three general T accounts, assets, liabilities and equities, representing the individual accounts in each of the sections. The first thing you need to understand is that in accounting, debit means the left-hand side and credit means the right-hand side. So in each account, there is a debit and a credit side. An increase in an account in the asset section will be recorded on the debit side, while a decrease will be recorded on the credit side. In the liabilities accounts, an increase in value is a credit in the account, while a decrease is recorded on the debit side. For equities, we can simply see that, de that an increase goes on the credit side, while a decrease goes on the debit side. However, in the equity section, there are many different accounts, such as drawings, revenue, and expenses. We can see down here in the corner the three accounts. These accounts make up the owner's equity section. There is a drawings account, which is the account for the withdrawals the owner makes for his own personal use outside of the business. When the owner withdraws an amount, the amount debited in the drawings account and credited in the account, bank account from the assets section because there is a decrease in money from the account. A simple way to think about it is, the debit in the drawings account is a way of decreasing or debiting the owner's equity account. There is an expenses account, which is all of the costs of the business that allow the business to make revenue. As the drawings account, when it increases, you debit it. For example, when you have an expense, you debit it in the expenses account. Finally, there is the revenue account, where all of your money comes from. The money can be made by completing service or something else. When your business does make money, it is credited in the revenue account because an increase in the revenue account is shown on the credit side. It, also debited, it is also debited in the bank account. Your bank account is an asset. Because of these theories, all assets should have a debit balance. All liability accounts should have a credit balance. The owner's equity account should have a credit balance. Expense accounts and drawings in the OE section should have a debit balance. Revenue accounts should have a credit balance. And just remember, the total value of the debit sides should equal the total value of the credit sides if the accounting has been done correctly. This will be talked about later when we discuss a trial balance. This image is split into three sections, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the accounting relationships. The income statement shows the total revenue, expenses, and net income for the month of July. Revenue is the money made by the company from either selling tangible goods or providing services. Expenses are the cost of materials and services used to produce the revenue. The net income is the increase in equity resulting from the proceeds of the sale of goods or services. Net income equals revenue minus expenses. On the right hand side we have a balance sheet which is the next step. The balance sheet has an asset section, a liability section and an equity section. We calculate the total assets by adding up the total values in each account. We can see that the total assets is 8,500, 5,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,500. We do the same for the liabilities accounts, which gives us 4,750. Underneath liabilities, we have the equity section, which represents the owner's claim of the business. This is the money that he has invested into the business, as well as the money he has made. At the bottom of the section, we have the total liabilities and equity, which is the same as the assets, because owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities, or as which is the same thing as assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, which is what it is saying. Assets minus liabilities can calculate the total equity. The net income was calculated in the income statement. Common stock is a corporation's basic class of stock. At the bottom, there is the accounting relationships. This shows that when there is net income, the equity of the business increases. When there is revenue, assets increases because of, because of the bank, and equity will increase as well. 
Also, the expenses will cause the assets to decrease, which will cause the equity to decrease. Liabilities and expenses. Liabilities are the amounts owed by the business at any time. For example, it's money owed to someone, which we know is accounts payable, or the bank loan. Liabilities belong in a balance sheet. Expenses are the costs that are related to the revenue. For example, costs of the materials, like, or even telephone expenses, met all the different kinds of expenses. Expenses belong in an income statement. That's where they're recorded. They both belong in ledgers and a trial balance. Principle of conservatism. It is a gap, generally accepted accounting principle. The principle of conservatism provides that accounting for a business should be done fair, should be fair and reasonable. For example, if there are two outcomes with a similar chance of occurrence, recognize the transaction with a lower value. So, sort of like the worst case scenario. Another example is that if there is an uncertain uncertainty about whether there is a loss or not, record a loss. This is the principle of conservatism. These were transactions made by Mr. Lee's hair salon. These are the transactions from the last slide recorded in a general journal. Below each transaction is the explanation. In the first transaction, we debit accounts receivable and credit fees earned because we sold a service on account. We haven't received the money yet, but they are going to pay us for the service. The second transaction, we debit drawings and credit fees earned because Mr. Lee sold a service but kept the money to himself for personal use. For the third transaction, the business bought hair supplies, so we debit the supplies account. The business only paid half the money and will pay the rest later, so we debit bank 500 and credit accounts, accounts payable 500. Finally, we debit bank 400 and credit accounts receivable 400 because we are receiving money, a payment on account, from T. Spence to reduce the amount he owes us. T. Spence is a debtor, debtor, because he owed or owes the business. The first transaction on this slide was made on April 4 of the year 2011. Probably, the business paid their wages for the month to its employees. It totaled to $1,000, so they debit wages expense and credit bank. The second transaction was made on the 7th. The business borrows $4,000 from the bank, so their bank loan is credited $4,000 and their bank is debited $4,000. The third transaction shows that the business bought a $3,000 automobile, so their automobile account is debited $3,000 and their bank account is credited $3,000. The final transaction on the slide shows that the business sold a service for $500. The customer, B. Wong, paid $300 to the business, meaning that we debit our bank. B. Wong will pay $200, the rest, later, so we debit accounts receivable. On this side, there are two transactions recorded incorrectly. There are a few mistakes in the journal. Firstly, the date is in capital letters and the whole word, whole word April is not written. Also, the year needs to be pushed to the left of the, the right of the box. In the first transaction, the account we are debiting needs to go on top of the account we are crediting. The business sold an automobile, which was an asset, so bank goes on top because we are debiting bank 3000 and crediting the automobile 3000. Also in the explanation, you must say exactly what you're doing, but still concisely. It is written sold auto. It should say sold automobile for cash or something else, short. The next transaction was recorded with debit and credit mixed up. Bank should be credited and drawings should be debited. Drawings is a debit account and when the owner withdraws you debit drawings. Also because drawings is supposed to be debited, we are supposed to put it on top of the bank account. The bank account should also have an indent when it is put below. Also, the explanation could be improved, and the use of capital letters is not good. 
they put a capital letter in the middle of the sentence. They should say owner withdrew for personal use. Give me explanation. Now, an accounting problem. On May 3, 2011, G. Lee, Greg Lee, withdrew $5,000 from the business. Unfortunately, Mr. Lee only wanted to withdraw $500. How could he fix this problem? Well, he could credit the drawings account $4,500 and debit the bank account $4,500. On this slide, we have a trial balance. The trial balance is completed after a ledger is made. The trial balance contains all of the individual accounts from the ledger. Do you remember the T accounts from the first slide? We can see the balances of each account and whether the account has a debit or credit balance. One of the main goals of the trial balance is to ensure no mistakes have been made in the accounting process. At the end, the total debit should equal the total credit. Debit always equals credit. Do you remember? This is an income statement for the month of May. The net income totals to 25369 The total revenue is 35000 and the total expenses is 9631 By looking at the financial statement, we can easily tell that the business is in a very healthy financial state. The business is earning a good amount of income, and this will allow the business to keep running without any worries. The high amount of income and the fairly low amount of expenses will ensure that if the business does not get as many customers for a certain period, they should still make income rather, rather than a loss. As long as they have more, as long as they don't have no customers. The following slide shows two businesses that are out of business and have to sell its assets in order to pay off the debts, the liabilities. Carlos's Cantina has a very low value in his bank account, but has a very high value in the accounts receivable account, meaning that he has a lot of money still to come, so no to the first question. The values aren't what they could be. Once all of the money comes through, he will have zero in his accounts receivable and 60200 in his bank account which is still far from being able to pay off the debts. Alistair's original bank account is closer to being able to pay off the debts. He has 3,000 in his accounts receivable and his bank account uh, has, so his bank account will be 24,500 in the future. Carlos's cantina on the right has a high value of total assets. Selling these assets will be a greater challenge than Alistair will have because the assets are of, are of higher value and there, is more to, and there is more to sell which takes longer. But things will be easier for Alistair because his assets are cheaper in value, meaning there is less to sell. If they both are able to sell all of their assets and pay off the debts, Alistair will be left with 50600 for himself, which is equivalent to the owner's equity value. Carlos will be left with 81200 making his business more successful because he has more money at the end. But this is the best case scenario. Carlos has, made, has a lot more debts to pay off, and he won't be able to pay it all off as if he doesn't manage to sell all or at least most of his assets. Selling this will be a challenge. Alistair also has to sell assets, but it is not as hard for him. This means that Alistair's auto is a much better option because it is a lot safer. You need security in the business world. Alistair's current bank account is closer to being able to pay off all of his debts. Carlos is far from being able to pay off all of the debts. He will need to sell most of the assets, which will be a challenge, and he may never do it. This makes Carlos's cantina the worst option. I would choose Alistair's auto because of safety even though Carlos's cantina has a larger owner's equity.